we're going to look at the chords for our test score for our flat.io project. Now, if you have no idea what I'm talking about and how to figure out chords, that's okay. You can still complete this project. Even if you're like, I'm not sure why that doesn't sound bad, turn it in. You only have to do 32 measures, no matter how good you tried to make it sound. Because I know that you tried and if you can't figure it out, I can help you or you can just turn it in, at least get 100% on the grade and I can help you make it sound better if you want. So let's look at this measure two here. We have a D, an A, an F sharp, and a D. So when you figure out chords, you want to put them in what's called thirds. So you skip one note in between. So D, F sharp, A, and D. I just spelled it the way that I know it, it goes. But if you have from top to bottom D, A, F sharp, D, D and A are five notes apart. So those don't go, don't stack on top of each other. So we need to make them in thirds. So we have D, skip one, F sharp, skip one, A. So D, F sharp, A is the chord for that measure. And since we are in the key signature of D major, that's a good chord to start with because it's the key signature's chord. It's called the tonic chord. And then I went to the next measure. Let's figure out the chord for this one. This is a G, a B, a G, and a G. So we have G, skip one, B. There's only two notes in that one. Perfect. That would be a G chord. Now, if you notice, the bass line went down four notes, or five if you count the first one, because it's D, D, C, B, A, G. So it went down, let's call it the fifth, five notes. That bass line is very pleasing, and, it, and it's going to feel good to the audience. So anytime you can go down five or up four, because they get to the same note, D, C, B, A, G, down five or up four, D, E, F, G. They get to the same note. That's going to be very pleasing. So I went from a D chord in this measure to a G chord in this measure. Now the next one, if you go down five or up four, would be C, but I didn't want to go to C because there's not a C in the key signature. There's a C sharp. So I went up one instead, D, G, A. D is the first chord, E, F sharp, G is the fourth chord, and then A is the fifth chord. One, fourth chord, fifth chord is very, very common if you want to use that. And then this one is an A chord because we have A, skip one, C sharp, skip one, E, skip one, G. So I added an extra note on top, but it's still skipping a note in between. And there aren't actually any C sharps in this measure till here's one, and here's one, and here's one till the end but the audience's ear is going to hear that. And then if you go A, remember down five or up four, A, B, C, D. So I went up four to another D chord here. D, D, F sharp, and D. I didn't use any A's until here at, at the end, but the audience is going to hear that because then they like how that feels to them. So that's the first half. I went from a D major chord to a G major, to an A chord, back to a D chord. And then this one gets a little bit differently. I started with a D chord, D, F sharp, D, A, A, F sharp, D. There's a whole bunch of notes there. I put in some other notes to get to this chord, which is B, B minor, because we have B, B, D, F, D, D, B. So B, skip one, D, skip one, F, F sharp. And so this time I went from D down to B, D, C sharp, B. I went down too. That's a, a good um, chord progression to use as well. Very common in pop music. Um, if you ever know the song Paco Bell's Canon, he used this chord progression. That's where I sort of stole it from. So I went from D to B. And then after I went to B, I went down two more to G. And oh, here we are. We're back to G, which I already used up here, G. And then I went faster to A, back to D. So I've used almost the same sort of chord progression in my music. Next, we're going to talk about non-harmonic tones and how to get from one chord to the other smoothly.